Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Science. I'm Mike Chen. Now, my favorite part of the U.S. is definitely the southwestern part of the United States. I love the desert, the mountains, and especially the canyons. I even make it a point to travel to Vegas a few times a year, and I don't even gamble, although I do love the buffets. But anyway, I travel to Vegas, and from there, I rent a car and hit up many awesome places like the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Sedona, Zion, Death Valley. You get the idea. I find these places really spiritual and mysterious, and I just love being there. Speaking of Death Valley, I wanted to bring up something I always found mysterious. The phenomenon is called the sailing rocks or moving rocks. Basically, it's a phenomenon where rocks will move and will scrape along the valley floor, leaving long trails behind them. This seems to happen without any human or animal intervention. These rocks are found in a remote part of Death Valley National Park named appropriately Racetrack Playa. The rocks move every two or three years and most tracks develop over three or four years time. Stones with rough bottoms tend to leave straight tracks while tracks of those with smooth bottoms tend to vary. Stones sometimes turn over as well. The rock trails may also differ in direction and length. Rocks that start next to each other may travel parallel for a time before one suddenly changing direction to the left or right or even back to the same direction from which it came. The length of the rock trail Trails also vary. Two similarly sized and shaped rocks may travel the same direction and length, then one could move ahead or stop in its track. And we're not talking about just small pebbles either. Some of these rocks are upwards of around 700 pounds. And here's the really strange part. Although they tried, to date no scientist has been able to record the rock physically moving. And it is believed that no one has ever seen them in motion. The moving rocks have been documented for over 100 years years and during that time teams of scientists have tried to solve this mystery and so far has come up with just theories with no concrete explanation. Of course people had their own proposed explanations and they range anywhere from natural to paranormal. People have tried to explain this with strange magnetic forces, psychic energy, aliens, pranksters, and even transdimensional vortex. For a while, the leading scientific hypothesis is that the rocks are moved by high winds on rare occasions when the playa is wet enough to be extremely slippery and conditions are just right. Recently, Ralph Lorenz, a planetary scientist at Johns Hopkins University, came up with a theory that the rocks move with the help of ice and water. Lorenz demonstrated this theory using Tupperware. As Lorenz described it, I took a small rock and put it in a piece of Tupperware and filled it with water so there was an inch of water with a bit of the rock sticking out. I put it in the freezer and that then gave me a slab of ice with a rock sticking out of it. He then filled his Tupperware with layers of sand and water and then floated his stone carrying iceberg on top. By simply blowing gently on the surface of the ice, the stone moved while making a trail in the sand. I guess for me, I just don't understand. If it was something a seemingly simple as ice floating rocks, then why did decades of scientists investigating this phenomenon not think of it? Also, why has this phenomenon never been able to be recorded on video or seen by any human being? I don't know. I guess there's still too many questions for me. I do have a funny theory though. What if, and just hear me out, what if the rocks are alive? and they move on their own. Now I say it is not because I'm insane, it's because in many Buddhist teachings, it is actually documented that all plants and even rocks are alive. So what if they are alive? And you know, they're just going out for a stroll. And you know, it takes a few years to stroll around for rocks. And those rocks that go in separate directions after traveling parallel for a long time, well, they broke up. All right, guys, let me hear your explanation about this phenomenon. Do you believe that Lorenz has finally cracked this 100-year-old mystery? Or do you think there's more to it? And guys, again, please don't forget to subscribe and check out some other cool videos that I have on this channel. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time.